Dobry. Kontynuujemy nagrywanie Maxa Payna w grę. Pierwszy mrok wewnątrz. Słuchajcie, czwarty nie ma nas. Nie ma nas. Once is taken care of. young man coming to see an old lady like me just passing through ma'am such a nice boy not like the ones upstairs they say they're renovating but it's too quiet they're up to no good the doctor gave me pills for my hip but it's all better now you should take them you look a bit pinched dear they're in the bathroom all these cleaners, you'd think that the place would be neater. I heard them talking in the corridor, keeping tongues. Oh, I remember sunlit days in the countryside with my Ben. Or was that something I saw on TV? I had found the sniper's hideout. The room was full of surveillance equipment. They had been spying on me for days, weeks, months even. My every action observed, recorded, analyzed. The place was the proof of every paranoia. Home is where your heart is. Not the same thing. It's pain!
I wasn't going to get through without the code. Behind the door were the suites. They weren't an improvement on the regular apartments. They're crazy. Hell, they want to kill me out. Thanks, fella. You saved me. They barred the door from the outside. This is terrible times. The tyranny of cleaners. Right. Any other way out? Up the roof, maybe. With the pigeons. You need the code to the seventh floor. Ed knows it. You know Ed, the janitor. Poor Ed. These crazy cleaners have invaded his turf. It's a late goodbye. Hey, hey! NYPD. I need the code at the seventh floor door. Sure, sure. I know it. I know it. Wait. Oh, yeah. 667. The <laughs> neighbor of the beast. Get it? Yeah. I get it. Okay. You stay here. Okay. In our headlights, staring bleed.
the explosion in my apartment and started a fire. The flames couldn't burn away my past. They only made the shadows behind me leap higher. I had to get down to the street. starts. Yeah, no sweat. <clears throat> Used to be on a job. <laughs> I was a cop like you. All right, follow my lead. Yeah, <laughs> I was a cop. <laughs> Cost me my marriage. Goddamn slime bags over Long there. Hours. There are people mm. trapped in here. He was terrified something would happen to me. The sons of bitches have locked the door! Are you coming to my rescue? Something like that. We need to get out. You could probably get out through a window on the third floor, if you can kill the flames. More of them! Uh, freeze! <laughs> gas valve was in the utility room. gas turned off, the fire on the third floor was no longer a problem.
Hey, you do your job, and afterwards... <laughs> Hey, you do your job, and afterwards, maybe I'll do mine. <laughs> They hit you home? It's like a friggin' kindergarten out there. What next? A kid with a bag full of guns and a head full of video games turns the house into a shooting gallery. Breaks my heart. What the hell's going on? With me, he meant. I had my doubts about the cleaners spying on me. About Mona. According to Vladimir Lem, the mob captain Vincent Cogniti, is behind the hits. Seems he's made a deal with an unknown third party. Maybe the cleaners. I don't know. Something doesn't fit. If it's true, I've been added on Gogniti's list. 
I came close to lying to Bravura. I told myself I needed to find out the facts first before others could screw up the evidence, but that was an excuse. Mona had gotten under my skin. I couldn't close my eyes to any of it anymore. It was more important than the job. She had tried to reach me, left her number. Risky leaving your number at the police station. Trace the call and you'll see I'm talking to you from Hong Kong. Winterson. I'll give you my address. Make sure you're not followed. Max, what's going on? What do you mean? Don't do anything stupid. Mona's place was a closed-down funhouse based on a 90s TV show. The show's cancellation had been the kiss of death to it. I felt like I was walking into a trap. I felt guilty, like I was about to get caught. There had been no lock on the front door. I had wondered why the place wasn't packed with hobos and stray dogs. Little wonder. Your past has a way of sneaking up on you. You'll hear broken echoes of it everywhere, like a bad replay. You get mad at everybody for reminding you about it, even if it's all in your head. When entertainment turns to a surreal reflection of your life, you're a lucky man if you can laugh at a joke. Luck and I weren't on speaking terms. Or maybe the place was just too lame to be funny.
fun house is a linear sequence of scares. Take it or leave it is the only choice given. Makes you think about free will. Have our choices been made for us because of who we are? John Mira. Yes, this is he. This is John Mira. Welcome to the next level. Uh, 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 uh. What are you, baby? I was behind the backdrops, getting warm. When I'd first met Mona, her twin sister had been killed. It must have felt like madness, schizophrenia in reverse. Your other self suddenly falling silent. We had both lost our loved ones. Mona's door was locked. I could have knocked, but I felt an urge to snoop around more, keep acting paranoid. I pretended I had a choice in the matter. The weapons and explosives in her workroom left no questions about her vocation. I'll tell you one thing, Mona, you're no singer. You've switched tactics. We need to talk. Bring me a towel, will you? Now that you're here, you can watch my back while I get dressed. All she had told me was that someone wanted us dead. The way she was acting, I was the only one in danger here. You have to give me a lot more than that. The inner circle. What of it? The secret society is after everyone who knows of their existence. Come off it. Prove it. I have a contact inside. He's willing to talk. Alfred Woden? No. Anyways, I can take you to him. She wasn't telling me the whole truth. Let's go. The circle goes back to the centuries-old Masonic cults. Corruption and assassinations reaching all the way to the presidential level. Right. And here I was, thinking conspiracy theories had gone out of style. We're here. So are they. I'm the only one handling a piece here. Which floor? They're after him. The elevators work with the apartment keys and from the desk here. They've jammed most of them to the floors they're on. The guards set off the alarm before they were killed. We need to do this fast. Shouldn't we just wait for the cops? Here, so we can stay in touch. You operate the elevator from here and I'll go up. I'll go up. You're the man. How come you're alive, anyway? I saw you take a bullet to the head. Maybe it's still there. Keeps me focused. 
for this to work, I was going to have to trust her. Let's get to work. Cleaners ahead and to the left, guarding Corcoran's door at the opposite end of the hall. I called the police! The police are coming! I told them! And I'm playing cool! Get I go. You. Well, that's just Baby. it. Well, you don't. Hold it! <laughs> Cleaning other apartments as well. Corcoran said that other inner circle members live in the building. The door's locked. Try the door on the far right, next to the large painting. You can get to Corcoran's place through the balcony. Would well, that's... Hey, you! Get out! Cover me! Hey, Door's locked. Try the door on the far right, next to the large painting. You can get to Corcoran's place through the balcony. Well, that's just it. What you don't see is that we are working here. This is a pro setup. Top of the line. You're done for! <laughs> They're cleaning other apartments as well. Corcoran said that other inner circle members live in the building. Every print, every hair, every moat of dust away. Like someone went back in a time machine and killed his picture.
We're late. He's dead. You need to get out of there. We need to leave now. More cleaners in the lobby coming your way. I wasn't ready to go. Not without a single piece of evidence. In the photo, a group of men posing in front of a manor house. Corcoran was there. Senator Gate was there. So was Alfred Woden. So it was true. All bets were off. The inner circle was involved.
timing. Shoot! Shoot! You can't hide! Starting to sound like a broken record here. More cleaners to the right, in the lobby, behind the door. Thanks. That's it! Get in here now! Mona, I found a window cleaner's lift. I'm headed down. Max? Yeah. I don't know. I just... just wanted to say... Damn it! Mona? Mona? Mona! Down there, he's gonna get away! Say hi to the pavement, sucker! Nothing had worked out as planned. I had to find another way down to the lobby. Find him and take care of him. Run! Fuck. Like someone went back in a time machine and killed <laughs> We're late. He's dead.
you already. We're much better off than they. They were on a stakeout when it happened. They were down. They know you. Then when you have to be ready all of a sudden, you're not. We, on the other hand, got adrenaline on our side. We're ready. And whether it's a crazy jumper or a cop or the killer brawl or whatever it's called. She's Starting to sound like a broken record here. More cleaners to the right, in the lobby, behind the door. Thanks. Address unknown continues. Wherever I went, the payphone stopped to ring. Finally, I collected enough. Stop! I'll check the apartment the cleaner was guarding. Why would I risk my life on a window cleaner's lift when I can use the elevator? Oh, for fun, the thrill of it, like bungee jump. Die! Ah! Ah! Mona. I found a window cleaner's lift. I'm headed down. Max? Yeah. I don't know. I just... just wanted to say... Damn it! Mona? Mona? Mona! Down there, he's gonna get away! Say hi to the pavement, sucker! Mona. Nothing had worked out as planned. I had to find another way down to the lobby.
Shoot! Stay sharp. Cover me! Keep your eyes open. Why had she come to me in the first place? For help? For something she wasn't telling me?
O, już druga. What were you thinking? Were you thinking at all? I was following a lead. She was helping me. She is a fugitive murder suspect, for Christ's sakes. I was trying to save those people from the cleaners. The two cases are connected, mine and Winterson's. Senator Gate was killed by the cleaners. They are connected. Winterson can have them both. She doesn't back you up. I was doing my job. I'm sorry to do this, Payne, but it's for your own good. Hand me your guns. I'm putting you to a desk job. Start by writing a report on what the hell happened on the Upper East Side. Fraternizing with the enemy, I had stepped over the edge. The cartoon moment when the gravity waits for the coyote to realize his mistake before the plunge. Get yourself to a counselor. You're falling apart. When you're ready to go to AA, come talk to me. Get your act together. And get someone in here to help me with this mess. I was mad. At myself. At Prevora. At Mona. Was she worth this? Don't envy you, the way the boss goes on about it. No use going in there to clean up. And now, lords and ladies, continue. Go away, I'm busy. Some of us have work to do. Right. We found you out of it on V, covered in blood, burying the pieces of your wife and the pizza guy under a rose bush in the back. How's anyone supposed to find anything from here? It was all connected. The murder of Senator Gate, the cleaners, the inner circle, Vinny Gogniti. I had to make Winterson see it. Winterson's phone was ringing. She wasn't at her desk. Winterson's phone. Better get Winterson. She's been kind of edgy about her calls. I think she's in the interrogation room getting a statement from a witness. Didn't she used to have the hots for you, Payne? I hear she has a new boyfriend. Getting laid would do her good. Talk about tense. They say she kicked out her husband a couple of years ago. Number one, thank you. You may step back. They can't see you through the glass. Just take your time. See if you can recognize any of them, okay? Yeah, okay. Number two, step forward and speak the line you were given. <laughs> I can't read. Just say the line number one said. You no, think I was listening? That. You are nothing but a one-armed bandit. <laughs> Stupid. You're nothing but a one-armed bandit. Thank you. Step back, number two. Number three. You are nothing but a one-armed bandit. Aren't I supposed to identify any of the men in jumpsuits? That's none of your concern. Just concentrate on the task at hand. Do you recognize any of them? Yeah. Number three's the one. Thank you. Okay, we're done. Take them uh. away. Okay, ladies, you heard her. This way. You can wait here. Someone will come to get you once the paperwork is done. I tried to help you, Max, but you didn't listen. Now it's too late. Detective Payne, anything you'd like to add? As I was trying to tell the other detective, the place was crawling with guys in gray overalls. They sure as hell weren't cleaning the place, but she wasn't too keen on listening to me. It's hard to say who was out to kill who, but the chick I just fingered and the men in jumpsuits, they got into a serious firefight. Okay, thanks. No, thank you. They're taking the fall, both of them. Payne was with her when she was arrested. Who are you talking to? You're leaking information. Bravura's too soft on you. I was informing the proper authorities on what they should know. Stay away from my case, Max. Stay away for your own good. Everything had started out as black and white. 
Somewhere down the road, the line went blurry. The colors started to run, got smudged and gray. Winterson had been above my suspicion. It felt like a goodbye. Sorry, Payne. Can't help you now. I've just cracked the crime of the century. Does it look like I'm open right, for your business? Report. When the door's closed, it's closed for a reason. The lineup was done. Mona was back in her cell. The cells were downstairs. Want to get to the lockup? Just press the buzzer by the door. Petersburg will buzz you in. Payne here. I need a statement from one of your customers. Mona Sachs. The last pokey down the corridor to your left. How fucked up is that? That's pretty fucked up. Who can say that again? I mean, there I am driving a stolen car on my way to the lot. <laughs> not again, Jesus, not again. <laughs> Just when we got rid of the stench of the last time. Petersburg, do I look like a clean idiot? <laughs> You're doing fine. Max, you've got to get me out of here. You know I can't do that. If I stay here, I'll die. Isn't that a bit melodramatic? Behind bars, I'm a sitting duck. This is as safe as it gets. Come on, Max. Any one of these cops could be on the Inner Circle's payroll. You should know. What's that supposed to mean? You know Alfred Woden. You want answers? Call him. He'll verify everything I've told you. Okay, I'll do that. I didn't want to have anything to do with Woden. I should have called him the moment the Inner Circle was mentioned. Can I use your said. phone? We're There's one through die. the door behind you. You can use that. Pretty. But it never lies. I mean, sure, I'd be okay if we had Hannibal Lecter in custody every night, as long as he'd keep his stomach contents to himself. Oh, that's fucked up. I need to make a call. You can use this phone. Play some hoops later on? Your funeral. You've reached the voicemail of Senator Alfred Woden. Please leave a message. Woden, Max Payne. We need to have a talk. You ask me, you still owe me. Jesus Christ! A bomb? That was a bomb! Upstairs, now! <coughs> Jesus! <coughs> Upstairs, now! Something was off. Mona's words on her being a sitting duck kept playing in my head. The bomb had misdirection written all over it. Strap it! Oh! Armed perps in the locker! Officer down! Take him down! Find the bitch! Find her! Kill her! NYPD! Drop your gun! Ah! Mona had been right. I had to go after her. I needed a gun to get past the... Petersburg.
staying here, trapped behind a desk, would have solved nothing. Mona had vanished into the night. Without her, I had nothing to go on. I knew where to find her. Have no fear. Vlad is here. The world was getting too small for comfort. Too many coincidences. Bang! You're dead, Max Payne. <laughs> A giant-headed Captain Baseball Bat Boy costume lay in the back seat. Gearing up for Halloween? Max, dearest of all my friends, call it my Trojan horse in the war Vinnie Gogniti started. Speaking of which, any news? Do me a favor. Drop me off at Coney Island. Does the inner circle ring any bells? Nothing mystical about them. Even if they themselves would like to think so. Just one step up the ladder of organized crime. I see where you're going with this. Gogniti has made a deal with them. What about Mona Sachs? I know of her. Her reputation as a hired killer. I hear she is a stone fox. I would fuck her. Right then, I hated Vlad. Max, I need to ask your advice as a friend. Ask. Hypothetically, if the only choice you've got is to do the wrong thing, then it's not really the wrong thing. It's more like fate. You have to do what you have to do. It's never that easy. Of course. We agree to disagree. Was I there again? Wait! Wait just a minute! Talk to me! What are you so afraid of? What do you want from me? The things that I want by Max Payne. The smoke. A whiskey. For the sun to shine. I want to sleep to forget. To change the past. My wife and baby girl back. Unlimited ammo and a license to kill. Right then. More than anything, I wanted her. Let's do it! You led them here. Up to my place. We can take them there. This way! The trouble with wanting something is the fear of losing it, or never getting it. The thought makes you weak. I couldn't get her out of my head. No, tutaj skończymy. Napisane. Na następnego odcinka. Gracias.